Jones has got the parachutes out now and he's on the brakes. That was a wild ride at the top end. 549.5. At 263 for Jones, Westerfield 546-0. Then he looked over and he had company in his own lane. That was as close as you could possibly put two funny cars without having them touch. If they actually did or didn't, I can't tell you. We'll get a replay here in a second. That was wild. Jones's car was unsettled from the moment go. He was fighting it down the racetrack. It was within his grasp, so to speak. But then at the finish line, it made a violent move to the right. Let's watch this. It is going to be Westerfield. Westerfield left side of your screen, Jones on the right side. You can see the car hunting its way all the way down the racetrack. He's to the eighth mile, and now it decides, here we go, Jeff, we're headed this way. And Jeff has got, he's got the throttle chop. Look at how close, oh man! Westerfield parachute almost got hung up on the Jones's body. It actually tore the spill plate on, jo on the back of Jones's car. Either has a chunk of Westerfield parachute, which it tore off. Then Jones is on the binders. He throws his own chutes out. That was amazing. Amazing in the fact that they didn't get together. You could see a little bit of a, the nose here broken up a little bit, the lip there on the leading edge of Jones's car. Looks like it might have knocked a, looks like somebody, like, you know, the nose of the thing is a, a skew or a jar a little bit. Something happened there. You know what it was? That was the block that did that, obviously. He went through the, he went through the uh, timing block at speed at the top, and we talked about how when Payne hit it early in the run, didn't do much, but boy, oh boy. We went racking that one up again because when you see how close these two are, literally Shane Westerfield's parachute got torn because it got pulled over the side spill plate on Jones's car. Wow. <laughs> so we're going to rack the replay up again. Thanks very much to George and the guys down there in the truck. We're going to see it from the back now and again. Beginning of the run, Jones's car fighting. He's wrestling this thing down. Look at him. Cars bounce around. Meanwhile, Shane Westerfield... It's on a perfect run, although his hatch starts to come loose. And look at that. The parachute blossoms literally in the face of Jeff Jones. Makes a last minute full left rudder move, gets the car away from Shane Westerfield. At some point, Westerfield must look over there and go, hey, what, what are you doing over there? Very good to see Jones get the shoots out and get that thing hauled down, but it does not get a whole lot closer than that at 263 or 270 miles an hour. We mentioned blocks. We mentioned the guy who knows nothing about blocks. Well, it turns out he's the guy that knows everything about blocks. Watch this on the Sunoco Vision screen. Let's talk today about blocks. Not big.